Okay, now for question number eight from M1 uh, Mechanics 1, June 2019, International A-Level. And here we have a question about connected parties. And we're going to answer this question now. Now, in this question here, we are told that we have three particles P, Q and R. P, Q and R with masses 4M, 3M and 2M respectively, as you can see in the diagram. Particles P and Q are connected by a light inextensible string that passes over a smooth light fixed pulley. Okay, and particle R is attached to particle Q. The system is held at rest with the string taut and the hanging parts of the string vertical as shown in figure 4. The system is released from rest. Find the acceleration of the particle P and the tension in the string. Okay, now... Um, what we can do here, as these are connected together, um, Q and R are actually attached to each other, we can treat Q and R together as one particle, okay? because they'll be both moving in the same direction as they're attached to each other. So we can think of this as one direction that they'll be moving in. So in this system, what, what's going to happen is you have the tension of the string, okay, and you have the weight of the particle, so that's 4mg. And the weight of these two together is going to be, let me put it down here, it's going to be 5mg, 3m plus 2m, 5mg, and there's a tension in the string. So this acceleration will take place in this direction, okay, as it's going to be moving down, this is more, this is heavier, this side, okay, so... Um, the acceleration of the particle P. Now, the acceleration of the particle P and the acceleration of the particles Q and R together, oh, all these, everything attached to these strings will have the same acceleration, okay, because it's a light and extensible string. So, therefore, if we, I'll, I'll just do my working over here for the first part. Um, if I consider particle P, particle P is going to be moving upwards, so I'll resolve taking up as positive. What we can say is uh, T minus 4 mg is equal to ma, which is the mass times acceleration, which in this case is 4ma. Okay, we're using the principle that the, the resultant force is equal to the mass times acceleration. So that's for particle P. And for particle Q, I'm going to take down as positive, seeing as this is going to be moving downwards. So in that case, I've got 5mg minus T is equal to 5ma. Okay, 5m a, because the total mass is 5m. So I have two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. Okay, if I take these two equations and I add them together, t will be eliminated. So equation 1 plus equation 2 will give us basically um, 5mg minus 4mg plus 5mg, which is 1mg, is equal to 4m a plus 5m a, which is 9m a. So we can see that A is equal to G over 9. 1 over 9 times G. Okay, 1 over 9 times G. That 9 looks like a Q there, doesn't it? So acceleration is 1 over 9 G. Meters per second squared. Okay, so that's the acceleration of particle P. Okay, in fact, it's, a part, it's the acceleration of everything. Okay, so we can say the acceleration of particle P is 1 over 9 G meters per second squared. All right, then it says the tension in the string. Okay, I'm doing my work up here so we can see the diagram. Now, the tension in the string can be found now because we know what A is. We can just, for example, use this um, equation, equation 1. If we, if we take equation 1 and we know A equals 1 ninth of G, we can say T is going to be 4MA, so 4M times 1 ninth of G. Okay, plus 4mg. Okay, just rearranging that equation. So teach the tension is 4 over 9mg plus 4mg. Okay, so we can make this into 1. So that's going to be, um, if you make this over 9, that will be 4 over 9mg plus 36 over 9mg. That gives you 40 over 9 mg. So T is equal to 40 over 9 mg. OK, 
Okay, do they, do they want answers in terms of G? No, they don't. Okay, so you could leave your answer like this. Okay, you could leave your answer like this if you want to. All right, or you could write it to 2SF or 3SF. So you could, for example, for this question here, for this part of the question here, what you could do is you could write it as 9.8 divided by 9. And you could write your answer as 1.08 or 1.1. Okay, that would be acceptable as well. So A is equal to 1.08. Is it 1.08? No, 1.09, sorry. 1.09. We rounded properly. 1.09. Or you could write this as 1.1. Okay, both of all of these are acceptable answers. Okay, and for the tension, it's going to be in terms of M. Okay, so the tension is going to be 40 over 9 um, times G. M. So 40 divided by 9 times 9.8, which gives you 43.555. So you could write this as 43.5 or 43.6, or you could write it as 44 uh, M Newtons. Okay, both of those would be acceptable. All three of those would be acceptable answers, either in terms of G or 3SF or 2SF. Okay, they accept 3SF, I mean, because, I mean, that's something that they would accept, although 2SF is is basically because we use G as 9.8, which is already 2SF, so it doesn't really make sense to round it anything greater than that. But all of those will be acceptable answers for part A here. Uh, that's part, this is part one, so we've done part one here, and this is part two. Okay, I've only done it up here to, because it's easy to see the diagram as we're working, okay? Really, the working should be done in this area over here. Okay, but as we have the diagram next to us up here, you can see what's happening. That's the reason I did the, the working instead of going up and down and up and down all the time, giving us all headaches. Okay, then part B says, state how you have used the fact that the string is in, inextensible. I kind of mentioned that, and the, the, the fact that this inextensible is used um, because if it's inextensible, then everything attached to that string will have the same acceleration. So for part B, we can say that all the particles all the particles will have the same acceleration okay it's one mark you'd have to write an essay about it and that's fine for part b Okay, so there's the answer to part B, and then I'm going to go on to part C now, okay, which um, I've made space on the next page.